Hey everybody, today we're learning absolute beginner perspective. I know it sounds scary, but we're gonna break it down to really easy perspective. You're not gonna need a ruler. We're gonna keep it simple, just learning how to see shapes in perspective and what they look like and get some practice drawing them. I'm Carly Ann, I'm a professional illustrator, and let's get drawing. All right, so to start off, I have to teach you the basic words that are used in perspective to explain different types of perspective. So there's three different types of perspective. The first one is one point perspective. And basically that means that you have a horizon line. You have one point that everything recedes to. Like if you're standing down a street and you see the road appears to converge in one spot. And you might also notice like that things tend to get a little closer together and also smaller as they go. That is one point perspective. Two point perspective means that you have horizon line and you have two points. So let's say you're looking at the side of a building and you have the corners that go off to these two different points Notice these lines are still straight, but the corners go off. Oh, sorry. These lines are still straight. This is our crazy building. These would be the windows. They would all recede to that same spot. Notice I'm just eyeballing it. That is fine for a beginner's perspective. Just generally guess, does it look mostly okay? That's all you need. Okay, so this is two point perspective. Three point perspective now means that there's three spots that everything recedes to. So we have the horizon, we have one and we have two points, but now we have a third point. So let's say we're looking at a really tall building like a skyscraper. We have these points here and these points here. Now, now our vertical lines also are converging. So you get something kind of like this. These go here. These go here. I know this looks now kind of intense, but all it means is that now, instead of these lines being straight, they come inward. And this gives it the super tall sort of feeling. So this would be one point perspective in a box, just that. Two point would be sort of like the corner of the box, just like that. And three point would be the super dramatic angle like that. All right, this is super basic perspective. That's all the terms that I really feel like you have to know is your horizon line or your where your eye level is. One point, two point, three point. Now to practice. All right, so when you're a beginner, and your first learning perspective, I don't think that you have to go get out the ruler and do everything perfectly. I think it's helpful to just explore shapes and to understand what's happening as you draw them. So for example, for drawing squares in perspective, you're gonna draw a front square, you're gonna draw another square right behind it, and you're gonna connect the lines. You've now drawn a cube. This is how I draw a basic cube when I was first starting. As I got more confident with drawing, after drawing cubes for a while, I could draw just the outside. But you can see that's not as good as that one. So it is better to draw through and have the lines meet. So now we can draw another square. 
and let's draw a smaller square as if this square is in perspective. And now let's collect, connect those lines again. Now you've drawn your square in perspective, just because this one's smaller. You notice how these ones were really the same size? This one got smaller, it receded as it went away, and now I have a little bit of perspective. Um, I recommend just trying to draw cubes and practice drawing them and seeing how this looks. Like this now looks like I'm looking down on the box. Can I make it look like I'm looking up at the box? I don't know. <laughs> so basically for beginner's perspective, I want you to just practice drawing squares at different angles and having them receive different amounts and just playing with making these shapes over and over again before trying to align them to a vanishing point or to that horizon line. Just practice seeing if you can draw shapes dimensionally. Once you feel comfortable with squares, then you can do cylinders. So again, so I'm gonna draw a front cylinder, I'm gonna draw a back cylinder. Well, okay, I'm gonna draw a front circle, I'm gonna draw a back circle, and I'm gonna connect them together. And now it looks like it's going away in perspective. I can also draw this so that it comes together. So that's smaller this way too, right? This is like the three point perspective. and just practice drawing these for a while until this gets comfortable. Because what you're gonna learn is, okay, if I make, try making one or the other in front. So now if I do this, it looks like I have a tube going that direction. But what if I do this? I have a circle here and a circle here and this one this is the back one that's hidden, and this one's open. How does that change what I'm looking at? How does that change my shape? And I basically, I just practiced drawing shapes like this for a long time and got used to that. So then when I went to draw perfect perspective, I would have a better understanding of what it would look like when I manipulated my shapes that way. You can also do triangles. If you notice, I did a square and I cut it in half to make a triangle. That's one way to do it. And then I just connected the points. You can do triangles too, um, but mostly squares and then circles. Now the cool thing about going from squares to circles is you can do the circles from your square. So if we have two squares, let's do that again. So we have this square and we have our smaller square that we're gonna connect, right? Now, if you remember my circle video on how to draw circles, if we inter draw the points there on the square, we know where the circle's gonna go. It's gonna go here. And we know this one is gonna go there. We're touching those side points. Now we can connect. And what's helpful is if we know that it gets much smaller, we'll know how to curve this line because of how it would fit in that circle there. And it will help our um, perspective look more correct as we do that. All right, so that's how I would learn super beginner level perspective. Just practice drawing shapes like this and getting used to what they look like as you draw them. And then once you have a good handle on that, then you can go to the more advanced perspective where you're gonna get out the ruler, you're gonna connect all the lines and get very serious <laughs> down to business. But for beginners, I think this is what you should do. All right, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Let me know down in the comments below if you're enjoying this like super beginner level um, drawing tips. If so, I'll do more. And if you have enjoyed this content, you can consider subscribing and give me a like and I'll see you guys next time.